Hey, my friends, how y'all doing? And we're going back into some Kazi. I love this guy. You love this guy. This song, Copacabana. Man, I remember when this thing was huge on the AM radio uh, back in the 70s. Uh, so I got to check it out. Copacabana. Let's jump in. <laughs> Look at the enthusiasm he has playing this stuff. I know, guys, I say the same thing. I can't believe he picks stuff like this. Uh, geez, when this came out, I was about 11, 12. Uh, and again, it was just all over the airways. Barry Manilow, absolute legend and a hit maker. Guy has always been unbelievable. Uh, who would have known, right? Uh, all these years later, I'll be sitting here listening to this awesome young Japanese man playing Copacabana. Never would have believed it, guys. Super cool. His name was Rico. He wore a diamond. He was as good as to his strength. He's a long dust man. And when she finished, he go her over. But Rico went a bit of fun. He sat across the bar. His enthusiasm is just always so good, my friends. Always so good. Always entertaining. And he was somebody told me he was born in 97. Uh, so I'm thinking, were his parents into this kind of music? You know, why does he play uh, the things he plays? Because I never would have believed he'd play that song. I mean, just not very common, especially in a younger person. So uh, let me know. Maybe his parents are just into all this stuff. And maybe he was exposed through them. Because usually people get exposed, you know, to music for, through their parents. Uh, I did for country music, but, you know, my, my parents were not like big rockers. So when I evolved into my own taste, into like Kiss 
you know, metal and heavy metal and stuff. They were like, yeah, no, we're not going there. My dad always said it hurt his ears. But anyway, super cool, guys. And, well, I'll be back with more. You guys know that. Uh, well, what is today? Thursday. So this will be released Friday. Uh, so have a great Friday, guys. And we'll see you next time.